In work in ZT, a focus on the Manchester Mall. The longtime Main Street locale has a new energy thanks to a pair of store owners who were all about the old school to bring in business. Yeah, from your favorite toys to vintage video games, it's a blast from the past. So what is retro junk? Here's Fox 61's Jim Altman. This is Brandon, man about Manchester. And with a nod to the past and a focus on the future. He has the power. We are in a time warp. It's like the Twilight Zone. Just 17 steps from the sidewalk. 16 bit hits with cassette and eight track flashbacks. Only open four months. Welcome to Retro Junk. From the A team. What you doing, sucker? To the B side. From Grayskull. <laughs> to the half shell. The force here is strong. And owner Brandon Farr's mission is in motion. We're trying to revitalize this whole downtown scene a bit. It's not really a leap. The idea behind Retro Junk is to be transformed into another time and even another world. It just brings you right back. This is for real. Oh, yeah, that's for real. It's Steve dated Austin. there for you, too. It's that nostalgia factor. It's Biro Gyro. You don't see a lot of that. That's really what drives the business. I have this, and I have Big John Stubb at my house. I describe it as that Christmas morning feeling. You know, it's just nostalgia. Let Orco go. And it's incredible. It's a place where the Xbox and Lunchbox find harmony. The vintage Manchester Mall now has new energy because down the hall from Retro Junk, old school has gone higher ed. Wild Bill continues on, yes. Buffalo Bill Ziegler followed Brandon's lead. It's a carnival atmosphere here. Bill is the son of the late Wild Bill, the name behind the Middletown memorabilia mecca that closed just over a year ago. Oh, there you go. But the game's on again. This is Fool's Paradise. I took the best of the best of Wild Bills that was left over. Toys, posters, buttons, sure. And then some items that are a bit more hard hitting. So oh. this is the high rent district over here. It's this. This is a baseball bat I found. I recognize that name. Yeah, it's a pretty good name. Signed Mickey Mantle baseball bat. Number seven. And the hope is that bringing back the past can deliver a bright future. There is a revitalization that is happening in this part of Manchester and this place is great. We're gonna keep it going. It's my passion. It's it's something I really care about and I have for a long time. In Manchester, Jim Altman, Fox 61 News. I am Adam Prince wow. of Eternia. And if you want to find out more about Retro Junk and Fool's Paradise, we have links to both at Fox61.com and on the new Fox 61 News Wild stuff. app. Yeah. That looked amazing. Yeah, it was brought, good brought me back a little bit. That's the idea to bring you back. Did they have any? Did they have any wooden hoops with a stick that you? I didn't oh. see that, Brent. Brent's, but I, I'm Brent's trying to <laughs> date himself. <laughs> no, that, that was before my time. Yes, yes. We Let's could go. ask. Yeah. There you go. Jimmy, thanks. All right, stick around. We'll be right back.